Okay, so <laughs> what in the world do we just see there at the end of that episode? Um, first of all, I don't know what kind of a name Purvis is, but... Sounds like a cat. A I, fancy cat. It reminds me of Pervert. Like, it's a terrible name. Pervert. I, I hope that... Uh, I, I hope whoever n named that poor child Purvis died a horrible death. Pervy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They clearly name. they clearly deserved it. Oh, well, maybe hopefully he went by his middle name. But I think that that lady might have been like his wife. The body was pretty rotted out. Yeah. Um. So I think he died, and she just kept him around because. And I was saying to Brandon while we were resetting this up, I think that's like her Wilson. Uh, for those of you who <laughs> passed away. Yeah. Wilson. She just needs somebody to talk to. Um, so a couple things. First of all, for those who um, didn't hear what we were talking about earlier, I'm pretty sure that this is leading up to um, Morgan getting to Virginia and talking to Rick for probably like the last time that they, you know, have a conversation. And Jill says that she recognized that character in the preview. Yeah. Um, the chick from Matt TV. Yeah, so th this is like another crossover, essentially. Now they're crossing over some characters from this show oh, into The Walking Dead. She was Stuart's mom. Yeah. Stuart? Stuart! Stuart. <laughs> you guys watch Mad TV? I used to love that show. Um, it's so weird seeing her in this show. I don't, I don't want to touch it. I don't think I've ever actually, uh, let's see. Okay, Sally says, you were completely correct about being like Rick and Morgan in the beginning, good catch. Yeah, so um, that was very reminiscent of the uh, walkie-talkie situation with Rick and Morgan in the, in the beginning of the show. Mo Collins, by the way. Who's Mo, Mo Collins? That's the actress's name, Mo Collins. Oh, okay. I was like, I knew, I was like, I kept saying Molly, and I was like, it's not Molly, it's Mo, Mo Collins. That makes it even funnier that she called Morgan Mo Mo. Mo, Mo. <laughs> I wonder if she, I, I she probably came up with that. Mo. Yeah, that makes sense. I thought they said pervert at first, too. Yeah, that was the first thing that I thought. I'm like, Purvis? What a terrible name. Poor poor guy. Uh, he's had a rough life, Purvis. He had to go through his entire life having a name like Purvis, and now he's, like, stuck. To, now he's essentially pinned to the side like a, an insect in one of those creepy museum uh, somebody, <laughs> exhibits. Somebody, somebody needs to put Purvis out of his misery. Seriously, that's just messed up, man. Uh, Candace says... Gave me some Carl flashbacks with Momo and the walker getting his shoe mo yeah. moment. Yeah. That's what I was thinking, too. Like, Carl made it without his boot. it would be all right. Yeah. I totally thought Carl was going to die in that episode, by the way, when I first saw it. I was like, oh, no. He's going to die, and Rick's going to wake up, and he'll just be alone again. <laughs> oh, that that would have been a worse death. Sally says, what in the fresh hell just happened? I don't know what to make of that lady there at the end. Um that was very strange. She's clearly a bit mad. I, I wonder if, hmm, I mean, she has like a big truck too, and she's like, you know, carting this walker around. I wonder if like, this is all some sort of like elaborate scheme that she does where she like baits people into thinking that she's going to help them, but then like actually just takes their shit and kills them or I something. I don't think so. I think she, well, what's she doing? I think she's the truck driver. They said they stole the truck and she's waiting at that shop. I just think Maybe she, she's just she, weird. She just happens to have a walker friend with her because she has no one else. And she needs people to no. it, it could be kind of like, um, what, what were those people? There was like a group of people uh, in, I think it was The Walking Dead. Maybe it was Fear the Walking Dead because that lady in season two who like believed that like the walkers were, remember she was like keeping walkers downstairs in that cage. Daniel discovered him. Yeah, that, that led to. Were, like, alive or yeah, something. she had some like she was like the leader of some weird cult where she like thought they had some grander scheme uh, role in the universe or something. I don't really remember what her twisted uh, logic was, but I don't know. Maybe this woman like thinks that she can save this walker and bring him back eventually. No, I think she's not acting. Maybe like she's, she's like her, maybe she's like Herschel and she just thinks he's sick. No, I think she's she's <laughs> wait, what season is this? This is season four. I think she's just delusional. What episode was this? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, this would be 11, I, I believe. The Code? The Code, yeah. Right. Okay. The Code. I'm trying to find the cast list because I didn't see it on Mo Collins' uh, episode cast. Uh, Mad TV, yep. Really? 
Maybe, it's I, not on there? IMDb only lists Jenna Elfman and Lenny James, which makes no sense. So Man, no somebody's lazy. Yeah. Somebody's lazy at IMDb. No kidding. That's crazy. Uh, that's the first thing I told my husband. That's Stuart's mom. What? <laughs> Stuart? That's like my favorite character. Yeah. It's hilarious. Um, okay, yeah. Carol says, I love how Morgan can can find any random thing around him and get him out of scary situations. Yeah, he... Yeah, Morgan and Carol are like two sides of the same coin. Yeah, he... It's true. If that was Carol, you know she'd get out too. She would have figured out what Morgan did. You just can't get over the fact that, that uh, Carol and Morgan are getting it together. Because it makes no sense. Like, they belong together. Well... <laughs> I'm sorry. Carol should have ran away with Morgan. That would have made more sense to me than anything. Yeah, Carol's too important, though, in The Walking Dead. They need her around to save them when they get into horrible situations like the termites. Who's going to save the day if Carol's not out there, like, watching from afar? I'm just saying, I just wish she could have taken a little side vacay this summer and run off with Morgan, and then she could have come back, which is what Morgan's trying to do anyway. What are you going to tell Ezekiel? <laughs> Oh, he, whatever. He, he, gave, he gave up on Carol until she did what he wanted her to do. So. That's that's true. He did. He was kind of a dick, so who cares? Uh, let's see here. Um, I know they're not going in that direction. I know Ezekiel <laughs> and Carol are going to get together, but it still makes no fucking sense to me. Sally yeah. says, look what I can do. Oh, yeah. Look what I can do. Look what I can do. <laughs> That show was hilarious back in the day. Will, back in the Will Sasso days. Man, it's, great I don't show. I didn't make it. Um... Morgan tough as nails. Yeah, that was crazy. Um, <laughs> those people are dicks, man. I can't believe they just left in there. They're they're gonna need a a, a good ass kicking for sure. Okay, let's see. Morgan is now my hero. Great episode. Yeah, this is one probably one of my favorite ones of the whole season so far. Actually, the whole show so far. To be honest, this is a great really? episode. Yeah, this Your is favorite? a really good one. Is this my favorite? I don't know. I mean, I really enjoyed that. My favorite scene of the whole show is definitely when John Dory rescued um, June from the walkers with his with his guns and killed like ten walkers in like five seconds. See, that that, that was so, so cool. That's so hard because. I love I love John and I love things focused on him, but she kind of ruins it for me. So it's like it could have been one of my favorite episodes, but then it wasn't. I just I'm just talking about that scene. I don't know if that's like my favorite episode, but that scene was just like okay. like supremely badass. Like he killed like so many walkers in such a short amount of time. Like nobody has ever done that on like either show, unless they have like a chain gun or something. Yeah. That was fucking crazy. I know. I mean, there's lots of other good stuff to watch, like Handmaid's Tale, obviously, is another show we've been watching. Yeah, um, which I'm glad Hulu is not giving them all. Yes, I, I think Hulu is, is uh, doing something very smart in that they are um, not... Well, the reason why they're doing that, though, um, partially is because of the fact that the show is run on cable in the UK. So they can't really give all the episodes at once here because then people in the UK would pirate the show and there wouldn't be any reason to tune in and watch well, it live. So also, they kind of have to do I, that. I prefer things not to be streamed because it's like once you watch, I mean, unless it's old shit. Yeah. If it's something new, you watch all, There's that, that eliminates that whole water cooler talk. Absolutely. You don't really get the chance to really digest what just happened. Absolutely. The Walking Dead, I mean, Talking Dead would not exist. If I would never the Walking, want like, yeah. yeah. Well, not even that, I would never want a show like The Walking Dead bingeable, like, I mean, yeah. few episodes, because then you don't, you don't get to really talk, like... You don't get to digest it, and there's so much to digest, yeah. right? And, then, and some people who, like, you know, you have all this free time, you watch all the episodes, whereas somebody else who has less time, and they want to be able to talk about the show, Yeah, they have a whole week to, until the next one. Conversations like this wouldn't even be happening, right? Because we'd just be watching the next episode right now. We wouldn't yeah. even be talking about what we just saw. We wouldn't be hanging out with you guys right now. Um, speak of Questions. Lisa says, what was the writing on his face? It was the same thing that was on the box. Take what you need, leave what you don't. Uh, I think Carol, oh, this, this lady's name is Carol. Um, so Carol says, I think Carol and Morgan would have made a good couple. So she's she's with you, Joel. Amanda says, love Mad TV with Mo Collins and Michael McDonald and Will Sasso. Yeah, those those were probably like my favorite. Although, yeah, he was Stewart. His name is Michael McDonald. Michael McDonald, like yeah. The singer? 
I didn't know there was a singer named Mike McDonald. Yeah, he's a white dude with white, white hair, and he has kind of a soul-driven voice. I oh. like his music. Huh. Fun oh, fact. I can't keep it not in love anymore. Um, yeah. And also, I don't know if you any Family Guy fans out there, uh, the voice of Lois, uh, she got her start on Matt TV, actually. Yeah, you mean uh, Miss Swan? Name? Yeah, Miss Swan. What I, 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 I no, I'm not even gonna do it. Someone's gonna. I, I don't know miss, what her name miss is. Miss the joke. Uh, um, yeah, she's. Yeah, I love Miss Swan. Alex Borstein, that's yeah. her name. Yeah, so she she got her start on Matt TV too. Let's see what else we got here. Hey, Veronica, what's going on? Uh, ooh, fun fact. Okay, so. Karina says, Colin Domingo directed next week's episode. Right. They were talking about that on Talking Interesting. About. That will be interesting to watch. I really like him. I wish I had taken a picture with him that one time I saw him walking in the hotel lobby. Colin Domingo's a cool dude. That was before I got really into the show. Yeah. I was like, I think that's him. And it was him. And then I didn't say anything. Yeah. Karen says, suck it, Jill. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Karen's a good I'm, friend of I'm, ours. I'm not going to let my feelings be hurt right now. That's fine. <laughs> it is kind of funny because, I mean, like, I I was pretty sure, like, right from the beginning that those two were not going to get together. And so Ezekiel and... Yeah. It's not that I didn't think they would get together. It's just that they don't make any sense to me. They just don't. Like... I don't yeah, think they really make much okay, sense either. I get it. He's putting on the front like she's putting on the front. But that's literally the only thing that they have in common. Like Carol and Morgan have so much more in common. Like they both lost their children. Um, they they both have this grappling thing with killing people. Uh, they both try true. to run away. Um, Carol stops killing because Morgan kind of guilts her into it. And then Morgan starts killing again to save Carol. And they have this like deeply embedded connection. Even when they first meet, it was very contentious. Like Morgan looked, he, Morgan was the only one who saw her real face. And she was kind of thrown by that. Cause she was being all like happy homemaker and fake. Mm -hmm. Morgan was like, oh, no, I'm not buying it. There's more going on there. And I can see that. And Carol was like, hmm. So they, it just made sense to me that they would put these two together. And then they didn't. And it just seems like such a huge missed opportunity. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, I write a whole essay on Morgan and Carol. But they needed, but, I mean, you know, I wonder I wonder if maybe part of the reason, I wonder actually if maybe originally the plan was to put them together, but then they changed their minds about, like, Morgan going to Fear the Walking Dead, so they had to well, abandon those plans. All you know what I mean? Is as long as they're still alive, there's still a chance. Because I agree, like, the earlier scenes with those two, it, it looked like they were going to get together. So I think maybe, like, in the middle of that, they were like, oh, but we need Morgan to go to Fear the Walking Dead. We're well, going to have to change. But that doesn't mean that it, it, it might take more time than they planned, but I still think, think that ultimately those two should be together. Like, they keep bringing each other back from the brink. And, you know, honestly, well, and it's not even so much that I'm a Morgan Carroll shipper. I, I really don't view myself in that way. Like, oh, I need them together. It's not that I need them together. It's just that from a story standpoint, they make the most sense to me. Like Rick and Michonne made sense to me. Like, you could not tell me that there was anybody better for Rick than her. Well, I'm not necessarily saying that, like, I think this is going to happen. But fun fact, King Ezekiel is one of the first people to get killed by the Whisperers in the comic book. Why are you... I told you I don't want to hear about those right now. Just saying. Comics. I I don't know. I mean, I don't know if they're going to do that, but his head is on on one of the pikes with Rosita's when they Rosita? come back. Rosita and, and him are the first to die. Mm. So that's how they find out about the existence of the Whisperers. They come back to Alexandria and their heads are on pikes. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. Okay. What do you guys think about that? Okay, so Bobby says. Uh, we didn't see a body. Do you think Madison is still alive? No, because the actress, she, I mean, she, she, a, said, she, she confirmed said, yeah. that she was dead. And plus she uh, is the star of a new show on Showtime. Yeah. So, nah, she's done. Uh, I love the shirt you have on back there, Sierra. Yeah, thank you. I, I appreciate it. You can get one if you, you want. put the link in the comments. Um, I will do that, actually. Well, it's it's on our Facebook page, actually, on the shop tab. Oh, yeah, so, just go to the shop yeah. tab. And, it, it and click uh, the link, it'll take you to our website where you can buy it. Um, we'll have other things coming up soon for you guys. We're actually going to jazz things up a little bit. We're going to start doing, uh, let's say, let's, let's call them digital shorts. Yeah. We're going to start generating some new type of content, um, especially since there's this huge question mark as to what's going to happen with The Walking Dead after Seriously. this season. Yeah. Even just 9A, like, we don't know. 
And um, I'm not saying that we're going to stop watching per se, but I feel like many people might stop watching. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we want to give you guys other things to look forward to from us. Yeah? Well said. Good. Yeah, thank you. Well said. Uh, Thank you. Karina says, wait, Brandon has never heard of the singer Michael McDonald. Excuse me. Uh, no. He has heard of so <laughs> many things. There's a lot of stuff. I'm, I'm very out of touch, uh, which, which is kind of ironic considering, like, you know, that we were on TV and whatnot because I am so out of touch with, like, most of entertainment. Like, there's a million movies that everybody thinks are, like, amazing that I have not seen and have oh, no desire God. to see. There's a lot of movies that people think are amazing that I just – flat out don't like like the um, departed like the departed i tried to watch it last night i just i thought it was boring it got so awkward for me i was like it's scorsese my god it's, it's very well done but i just i couldn't get into it just couldn't get into it i, I didn't that like was, the characters. that was the movie where i was like wow Leonardo DiCaprio finally looks like a man and i get it now <laughs> yeah. like before when everyone else was talking about how they had a huge crush on Leonardo DiCaprio i was so confused i thought he looked like such a girl but the, the departed changed that the uh, the Godfather. That's another movie that I just flat out did not like. Um, I watched it all the way through. I thought it was one of the most boring movies I've ever seen. See, I enjoyed that movie <laughs> in inappropriate ways. Like, it was so much stuff in here not meant to be funny that I thought was totally enjoyable and hilarious. So that that might be part of it. But I agree. If you want to watch like a, a mobster Italian kind of movie, go watch Goodfellas. Yeah, Goodfellas is great. I or, love that movie. Go watch A Bronx Tale, which mm-hmm. I'm going to show him soon. Maybe tonight. Maybe. Oh, okay. Tonight. Yeah, yeah, I'm down. No, uh, let's see. Hang on. Nice haircut, Brandon. <laughs> you, she hates it. Uh, I don't hate it. I just, I feel like it's in a weird in between place. Like if he was gonna go short, he might as well have gone Rick Grimes short. And then so, I don't know how I feel about that. So, all right, I'll I'll tell you guys the the, the story. Um, so what happened is for the last like ten years, one of my really good friends actually used to cut my hair. And she moved away to Seattle last month. So I had to go to a barber for like the first time in 10 years. I don't even like know what to tell them, right? I'm like, because I'm used to just going like, you know, Katrina, do the usual thing on me, right? So I brought up a, a picture of me like the last time that I got my hair cut because normally I, I only get it cut like once every three months. Like I'm just lazy. I let it grow out. And then I end up like cosplaying like Rick. So it has to be long anyway. I, I like usually... I usually try and time it so that it's long-ish, like, when I'm supposed to be in costume. And so, uh, you know, I just I let it go because I'm lazy. And so they, they kind of did it, like, weird. They they put it, like, really short she, on she, the sides. She did a weird shape-up around his ear, which made, yeah. like, are you going to do a shape-up? That just doesn't seem like the place to do Like, you do a shape-up in the back. I don't know why they did that. But they, by his, like, it just looks stupid. They, they got it right on the top, but I don't like the way they did it on the side. So, I mean, it could have been a lot worse. I, I mean, usually the first time that somebody new cuts your hair, something is wrong with it because they just don't know what you like. Um, it could have been a lot worse. I'm okay with it. And besides, like, it'll grow back in two weeks, so who cares? Um, all right, comments. Are you still going to watch The Walking Dead when Rick leaves? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um. I might not enjoy it, but I'll watch it. I'll probably be really <laughs> salty the whole time, and you'll be able to see that in my demeanor. I probably won't be excited about it, um, especially from a Rashawn standpoint. I, Karen, what, Karen is just antagonizing you tonight. She says Mor- Moral, Morgan and Carol, uh, Moral is never going to happen. Give it up, girl. <laughs> not Moral. I, I called it Meryl. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, Meryl is what I call Morgan and Carol. Uh, so Amanda says, fun fact, we uh, had a small comic on here in, in Colorado, and a few characters were there. I met Carrie, oh, Carrie Payton, Cooper, and Jeremy, who plays Andy at the Hilltop. Apparently he will be there for a while or so, he says. Okay, hmm, interesting. I'm, I'm assuming you're talking about Carrie, so he, that would lead me to believe that he's not going to be killed by the Whispers early on, as he is in the comic. Um, Amanda says, yay, the real Rashawn will continue past The Walking Dead. <laughs> Thank you, Amanda. It's a, it's a very prestigious title. Uh, Karen says, no, Boggs' hair is too short already. No Rick buzz cut. B-O-G. Yeah. B-O-G. Hashtag DP. <laughs> um, BOG's hair is too short. Yeah, I know. It is it is too short. Um, I'm not going to buzz my hair, Karen. Are you kidding me? 
I'm not that crazy. Although I was like antagonizing her, kind of like saying, like, I don't know, when I get to the barber, I might change my mind and just have them like chop it all off. I would never do that. Love just messing with me tonight. Um, I used to have like really short hair. I used to have like really short, like spiky hair. So that was when you were younger. But that was like ten years ago. So I've, I've, I've seen that picture. Yeah. Um, he was in a band and part like part band, part beach bum. Sally says, Am I getting too dirty? All in good fun. No, you're not getting too dirty. Don't what, worry. What? what did she say? Uh, I don't know. What What did you say that made you think that? Uh, I don't even know what comment you're talking about. Yeah, say it again because we have too many comments. I can't see it now because it like, got lost like in the feed. Um, what else is there to talk about? I feel like we've covered this episode pretty well. Um. Where's John Dory? Come on. I, I need a John Dory well, episode. They're, they're going to do a bot. So next week will be Naomi and, and Al. So I know. they're doing all these bottle episodes. And then it will finally be, I think. Uh, He's been gone too long. Uh, uh, question, I mean, what, what would you guys like? I mean, provided, I don't know who's going to keep watching or not watching The Walking Dead after this. But what would you like? to see us do basically um, and what other shows do you guys watch as closely as the walking dead i mean we only have like kind of a handful that we follow like super super closely um yeah preacher's one of them dark on netflix is another one um a handmaid's tale recently we, we really got into we watched that live now uh what else what else do we watch like oh the center on on, really good, on yeah. USA, phenomenal show, Girl phenomenal Girl, show. Girl bag hottie. Yeah, it's it's really really good. <laughs> um, I normally am not a big fan of like cop shows, and this is one of the only ones that I've ever really liked. He's a very likable character, that guy. I watch Keeping Up with Kardashians. I'll just say it. I don't care if people judge me anymore. Whatever. <laughs> I I don't know what happened. I I hate it. I like I I just blindly hate it without. It actually seeing anything that my mom got me really into You're contributing it. to the dumbing down of America by watching this listen, show. Listen, listen. She's a great entrepreneur. She and her mom. God, she's a great entrepreneur. They made those. something from nothing. They made a billion dollars from a sex, a, a really bad sex tape. It is a really like, bad sex tape. Just a really day. awfully, like, so, whatever. Anyway. Lisa says, I think Michonne is taking on Andrea's role in the comics with Rick. And we know she gets bit. Makes me wonder if uh, maybe just maybe they will twist it up and she will end up with her head on a pike. I hope not, but you never know. Is it Mama Show? Yeah. So what she's talking about is the fact that like Andrea is with Rick in the in the uh, comic, and they gave her role to the show in the show. So that made more sense. And 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 uh, Andrea just recently died in the comic. Yeah, the, well, it makes no sense to kill Michonne if they're going to take Rick out of the I don't. Equation. Yeah, I don't think they're going to do that. I think that that would just be like, you know, career suicide for the show, essentially. I mean, like... Man, if they take Rick and Michonne, like, I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, it's, not, it's not enough characters in the world. <laughs> I'm, I'm still... I don't... I don't know if this is even true. It, it might still be a rumor at this point, but you know they're saying that like they, they offered uh, Norman Reedus twenty million dollars to be the the I lead man, I and I am I'm very worried about how that's gonna go because I just don't understand how they're gonna write his character to be likable now and be likable enough to well, lead even, the show. Well, never mind. Even when he was likable, he was still not a leader. He was just not a leading man. It's just it's, he's just not. No, he barely. He has like no not, dialogue. He's no, no. seriously. I mean, he he doesn't talk. He's like almost a mute, and he and everything that he does is stupid. That now all of a sudden he's gonna be able to like lead Alexandria. It doesn't make any sense. It's not believable. No, so I gotta get some, some shiny hair things for my, for she's my a, shameless. Sally says she watches. I don't know what that's about. Um, it's I heard it's really gross, like sexually and hmm. just kind of weird. Okay. I don't know. I've I've heard about it for years. Shashin says uh, do a discussion about preacher. Okay, we we could discuss in next season <laughs> when it comes back. We, we we were really like late to um well, we're like watching this episode because we had to because Jill hadn't seen it before, so you know we had to get her caught up before we can start watching season three. So, um, let's see, Amanda says it's a good one, and no, uh, well, uh, Car- Carrie did say that he wasn't going anywhere for a bit, but Jeremy Palka, who plays Andy who is with the Hilltop, so that he will be there for a long while. Andy, okay. is that the Hunchback Savior? Uh, he, he, she says he's from the Hilltop. I know. The Hunchback Savior is at the Hilltop. 
I don't know who. I don't oh, know. I know who you're talking about. That like pretty boy guy who was like, bitch, yeah, okay, I know what you're talking about. All right. Mm-hmm. Um, for damn sure, if they kill Michonne, the show will just go will just go away. Although I do love Norman, he's just not a le- he's just not a leader. Excuse me. Uh, I just can't see Norman's character to be a leader. Yeah, me neither. Gotham. Chut says is one of the best shows on now. Watched, I've heard really good things about it, that. It, it, I, what, I started watching in the beginning, and then it, it kind of tapered off for me. But it sounds like it got good again. It has amazing reviews. Um, I actually interviewed um, Sean Pertwee, who plays Alfred, huh. very lovely man. Um, that I don't think I think that's on YouTube as well, underneath fan or interviews. <laughs> uh, for those of you who watch Gotham, but I mean, it was really good. And then for me, I don't know, something happened. I just stopped watching it. Plus, I moved around a lot. I didn't have a TV. And I just, you know, and then I want to find stuff online. But, I mean, what season are they even in right now? Gotham? Yeah. I think it's going into season four. No, it's got to be more than that. Really? Huh. It's got probably like season five, I think. Uh, okay, I'm writing these down. So these are all things that are options for us. Um, hi, guys. Miss YouTube. Been working a lot. Just wanted to say hello. Oh, thank you, Sharon. Hey. What's going on? Okay, so Veronica says, do you think Rick dies or gets captured by the Whispers? They don't really capture people, so I don't think that... I, I, personally, I think whatever happens to him probably has to do with Washington, D.C., because in almost all of the promo um, stuff for the new season, there is either A, a helicopter, or B, Washington, D.C., and I don't understand how they would get to Washington, D.C. without using the helicopter, because it's far from where they are. Um, I think it has something to do with that. I don't really know what it means. Uh, it might have something to do with that, uh, that lady who looks like Hillary Clinton in <laughs> the pantsuit, but, but she seems like a good guy, so I don't really get how uh, he would get kidnapped. Uh, there's a million different he theories might get about this. Lost and, or hit his head or <laughs> be in a coma. Or... Another coma? God, been in comas way too much. This guy. Right. I would I would accept that. I would accept any any of the above that involves Anything, him not being dead. Yeah, I would pretty much accept any would, explanation. Like, they could transport him to the land of Oz for all I care, as long as he's not dead and he can make <laughs> his way back eventually. Like, yeah, well said. Yeah. Um. Anything else to discuss? This is, this is we've already been on for thirty two minutes, so we should probably end it. Oh, I thought we were gonna go the whole hour. Um, the couch is about to be taken up. Okay. So, all right, guys, I think we're gonna end this here. Um, if you guys, okay. Ah, okay. Um, I'll keep watching The Walking Dead if Rick dies. Uh, yeah, we will too. Amanda says Jadis will leave with him. Possibly. I mean, Jadis is the one who has... Oh, what? Well, she has access to that helicopter. So I wonder, I, you know, I wonder if that has something to do with it. They have put a... a In my like, mind, Rick has to be... He would have to be unconscious or something like that. Yeah, she'll... He, he's not going to just go traipsing off with Jadis and leave Michonne and Judith behind. That just makes I mean, sense. she did once attempt to, like, strip him naked and, like, lock him in that box as her sex life. She really So maybe she succeeds. To to grind, Steve. <laughs> Maybe she succeeds. That's not even funny, Brandon. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of a funny, like, I mean, it's ridiculous. They're not going to do that, but um, I don't know. Maybe Jadis does have something to do with it. Karen says Castle Rock on Hulu is amazing. You oh, need, yeah, need to right, check it out. Right, right. We do need to okay, watch um, with the Scars Guard. Mm-hmm. The young Scars Guard. Um, Castle Rock. We're writing down all these things. Uh, Shameless is going into season nine. Good Lord, that's a lot of catching up to do. Uh, it gets dirty, but it's about a very poor family on the south side of Chicago. It's good. Promise wouldn't let you, uh, wouldn't tell you bad shit. Mm-mm. Been walk, watching The Walking Dead since it aired, read all the comics. It's always going to be my fave, though, always. Hmm. Well said. Lisa says, I think Norman Reedus could surprise you all and definitely take on that lead role with more dialogue involved, of course. I think he's a good actor, and, a def- and I definitely it's, it's, think he can be done. Well, he's a well, great well, actor. Well, let's be clear. This, has not, this is not a reflection on Norman Reedus. No. Daryl Dixon cannot be a leading man. Yeah. So that's... Let me make that clear. If they put Norman on a different show like they did with John, I think Norman could carry his own show. I don't know. I wouldn't. I'm not going to Yeah, it's, it's it the character that. of Daryl Dixon. Daryl Dixon can never be a leader. I just don't. It, just, it doesn't seem plausible to me. No. The only, the, the only people who I could see being leaders in lieu of Rick would be Michonne and Carol at this point. I don't even really see Maggie as a leader, to, I mean, a leader, to be honest. It, it doesn't really work for me. <laughs> 
Uh, thank you too, Sally. Let's see, Shameless is great and completely outrageous. Karen said that. All right, see you guys next week. Daryl cannot be a leading man, Sally says, period. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I think you should do your own little uh, The Walking Dead slash Rashawn parodies. You two would be perfect. I would no, I mean, watch. I, I've, I've been trying to convince him, and he does not want to play ball with me. I, I yeah, love doing I skits. I'm not an actor. Any, anyone who, doesn't matter. I'm not an actress. Mm. I used to do skits all the time. I actually just showed him some throwback videos that I used to do with my best friend. They're ridiculous. Um, I, you know, openings, opening credits, like the whole nine. I love doing skits. I grew up doing skits with my aunt and my mom and, you know, my family. So that's a big part of my background. But maybe if you guys can, like, really push for that, maybe it'll convince him that there's someone who actually wants to watch that shit. Mm, I don't know. I'll consider it. Anyway, um, all right. I think we're going to sign off for tonight, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, we will talk to you next Do week. It. Uh, I'll consider it. All right. We'll talk to you guys next week. Thanks so much. Bye, Bye. guys.